Hi everyone! Welcome to another Life Assist tutorial. In this video I'll show you how to load a logo and blend it over the incoming camera live signal. Next we'll go over how to replace a green screen with a digital background of your choice. So let's go ahead and add a channel, choosing video capture and our Decklink card's input to get the live camera signal in. Hit OK and switch to the Color Effects tab. In here we have all the tools to do basic color grading, effects and compositing. As you can see our image is upside down as our camera is actually mounted upside down on the tripod. Let's quickly fix that by going into the framing menu and flip flop it. Perfect. Now let's enter the comp menu and load a logo to blend over the image. By default the keyer will be enabled so let's disable it right away as the TIFF sequence we loaded already has an embedded alpha channel. Next let's position and scale the logo using the parameters in the position column. Great. We can also dial down the opacity a little. If we wanted the logo to just be static we can easily set the out point to zero so only the first frame of the TIFF sequence will be played effectively resulting in a still. Else any range that we set here will automatically be looped so you're never looking at a freeze frame. Note that if you want the logo to be burned into your recordings you need to enable burn in grade here in the recording settings of the setup dialog. Otherwise you will record just the raw camera signal unaltered. On to the next example. Replacing a green screen with a background of our choice. With my current setup I do not have a green screen installed. However, Life Assist allows us to load a so-called reference clip in the same way we would start a live capture. We'll use that feature to emulate the live capture green screen replacement. Just hit the plus icon, select reference clip and choose the file you want to load. From here on out everything will work the same with a live camera signal coming in, just that in this example our source is a clip instead of a live signal coming from the camera. Here we go. Select the B cam in the channel controller in order to work on it. By the way, if you do not want the slow fade between switching cameras, you can set the transition to cut in this menu. Next, let's load our background. With the key enabled by default, we already have a usable key. However, we can still improve it by enabling pick and then hold control to draw a rectangle over the green area. Disable pick to see the image again. We can now fine tune the key using the parameters down here but actually this already looks pretty good. Obviously we should crop away the rig on the right so let's do that real quick. Done. As you might notice there's a little bit of green spill here on the wizard's hair. There's two ways to improve the key here. One is to shrink the mat using the expand parameter. To show you a bit better what this does, let me pause the video for a moment and enable the alpha channel view. If I now tweak the expand parameter, you can see how the map changes. However, if pushed too far you can also see that we'll be losing some hair and getting some artifacts here in the center of our alpha. Let's leave the expand parameter at 1 for now. Still got a little bit of green in here, but we'll tackle that with step number 2. The hue versus saturation curves. Most of the time you also need to desaturate yellow along with green to get the desired result. The bypass option helps you to quickly toggle the change on and off to see whether you've taken out too much. This looks good to me. We can now position the background if we want or even blur it a little to create a bit more depth. Let's also grade the wizard a little bit darker to fit better into the background. Nice. And since we're at it, let's throw some grain and a vignette onto our composite to blend stuff in a little bit better. By the way, if you need to time the playback of your background and have it start rolling at a certain time, you can use the queue up button here. That will simply start the background clip according to its in and out point set in the comp menu from its beginning. Same as with the logo before, if we want our recording to feature the entire composite, Burn in grey needs to be enabled in the record settings here. For quick onset edits you can set the recording format to ProRes 4x4 or 4x4 XQ and enable alpha channel. 
With that, the recorded ProRes file will also contain the mat we created using the Kia in the comp menu. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it and see you next time. Bye.